Okay, so we are going to do the Song from the Depths quest next. I seem to remember having done this quest when I played RuneScape uh, last, and it being an absolutely fantastic quest. So I'm quite looking forward to doing this one. We have to head to Remington. Oh, is that a little baby raccoon? Oh, that's adorable. So we'll uh, head down to Remington. Which is down this direction, south of that big city beside us, which is Falador. Now, here, this is the photo booth. Um, and what this will do, if I remember correctly, is it will let me make an avatar for the forums. It will take a picture of me. Um, oh, crap. Highwayman. Can we deal with him? I reckon so. He's level 11. Let's stab him in the gut. Whack. There we go. He's dead. He dropped a cape and some bones. We'll take them both. Uh, okay. Let's take a picture at the photo booth. Just enter the tent, adjust your clothing, and press the take picture button when you're ready. Do I want the troll mask on? No. Let's take it off. Okay, take picture. There you go, Gov! So that took our picture now. That will be our form avatar from this point on. This cape has no stats, so it's not an upgrade. Okay, cool. We have a form avatar for if we decide to post on the official RuneScape forums at some stage and for our profile on the website. We're going to continue on down past uh, the clan area, I believe, is over there. Past the crafting guild, if I remember correctly. There's a lovely scarecrow. And we're going to head down to Remington. Luckily, it has a nice little quest icon to tell us where to go, and it looks like we need to go into this house. I'm going to go into the audio settings. Oh, the music has turned down a good bit. Okay, let's leave it there. Some of the voices seem a bit low, but that's okay. Let's close the door. And uh, this quest, it looks like, starts with Lucille, so let's have a chat to her. Song from the Depths is fully voice acted and features live recorded music. We suggest that you turn your sound on in order to get the most out of it. Well, we have our sound on. Wake up, Waylon, wake up. Come on, you great drunken old. This isn't funny. No, is everything okay? Everything is not okay. I can't wake any of these men up. Keep muttering things. Strangely similar things, as though they're all sharing the same dream. Makes no sense. I've heard rumors of men affected like this. Lulled into sleep by a strange force, never to awaken again. They just lie there, empty, as though their soul just upped and left somewhere. I don't know what to do. That's my husband there. My Waylon. I don't know what I'd do without him. Can I help? Well, I ain't going to turn you down. Anything to get my Waylon back. I should warn you, though, a warrior named the Raptor came here before you and offered to help. He terrified me. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I gave him a restless sleep potion, an old recipe I learned from a witch some time ago. She said it would let me visit the world of dreams, whatever that means. He drank it and then seemed to fade away to somewhere else. You'll need to drink it as well if you want to catch up with it. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. I'm not afraid to say that I fear the raptor. I hear stories about him. His solution for a problem is to destroy everything linked to it. That's not who I want saving my husband. Protect my Waylon, would you? I know he's a drunkard, but he's my drunkard. Okay. I will protect him. No worries. If it has the effect I think it will, you lend 
into some kind of dream world, then make sure you get to Waylon before the raptor does. Okay, so she's given me a restless sleep potion and she told me to drink it. So let's down this potion. You can't do this while you have your familiar summoned, right? Baby troll, get up here. Let's drink. As you drink the potion, you fall asleep. But you still have some control over your body. Okay. This is weird. You try to talk with her, but Lucille doesn't understand your sleepwalking gibberish. Alright. Oh wow, this is creepy. I heard her first. Stay away from her. So we're sleepwalking at the moment. Where are these guys going? They're all walking in the same direction. Is this guy? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's that's Waylon. That's Lucille's husband. Okay, and they disappeared. Okay, cave. All right. This story starts under the sea, in the home of my sisters. In that home. I found moments to sing, but I knew if my sisters heard me, they would roll up some kelp and force it into my mouth. So I learned to sing quietly. One night, my sisters were out hunting. I swam from my home and came upon a village on the edge of the sea. There were so many people in the docks, working and talking, but they could not see me. Keep talking, witch. Makes it easier to find me. Oh, that's the raptor. That's the warrior that she was talking about. Well, he sounds fucking terrifying. Oh, here he is. If you're here to stop me, then you have a problem. And my problem is standing in front of you. I'm here to save Waylon. To me, my men, gather to hear my story. Only thing left to do is kill her. Keep your distance. Don't try to stop me. Okay, so much as Lucille predicted, uh, he's gonna want to kill everything from the sands of her. He's given up on helping, he's given up on saving people. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to leave. I want to explore. Let's have a look this way. So this looks like a bit of a maze of some kind. I have to go up these stairs. So I sang an old morning, sir. Okay. So this is the room we were in. So let's go this way. So I sang an old morning, sir. Okay, so this is the same one. Wow, I don't like mazes. So we've gone through all of them except this one. In this room, at least. Let's try this one. So I 
So I sang an old mermaid song, and the men on the docks listened. Northern wind. No, not that door. So let's try the north door. No, stop trying to go through that door. Right, let's try the north door. And then goldfish bask in the western sun. So let's try the west door. Okay, south, and then east. This place is really weird. I love the lighting effects coming through the cracks there. I actually feel really bad for her. She didn't mean to kill anyone. It was an accident. Okay, cutscene time. So here's all the dreaming souls. And they're all heading through. Oh, wow. Where did that door go? Well, at least she didn't try to drown them this time. She learned her lesson, if nothing else. So, symbols discovered, 33%. So, there's symbols on the floor. Any particular hints on how to find them, I wonder? Or do we just have to walk around a bit? And then the men saw one another. They became jealous. Okay, there's another one. Oh, there's two men. And they fought. They hacked at each other, beating flesh and bones with rocks. A door appears. Okay. Oh, and they're they're attacking each other. Uh where did the door appear? It's not the door we came through, is it? It's hardly the... Oh, no, it's here. Right. Through this story. It's another wide open area. Oh, there's symbols to discover in here as well. Okay. I'm not sure if there's a pattern to these that I'm missing. I'm just kind of running around and hoping I stand on them. As I learned new songs, I found I could affect men in other ways. It's okay, she's starting to sound a bit more... Uh, 
a bit more suspicious now. At first I felt sorry for her. It sounds like she's getting a bit manipulative. Mm, uh, manipulative at this point. Does she realize it seems to be keeping them asleep? Because up until that point, she was okay. There's probably a pattern here I'm missing. I'm not particularly good at puzzles. In fact, there's almost definitely a pattern I'm missing. There we go. All day, I was surrounded by those who loved me, and I loved them back. Did you love them back? I'm not sure. There's some more men kicking the shit out of each other. I'm not sure you understand what love is. And you didn't like that, did you? I just heard Waylon calling for Lucille, I think. Okay, so they're all going through that doorway over there. I presume I just have to follow them. But there's some kind of a puzzle here, of course. I approached the furious soul. It screamed as if on fire. I tried to soothe it with song, but still it seethed. So I cried a tear, and the water extinguished the fire. Oh, no, I don't want to leave. That's the problem with doorways. Um... Okay. Take the burning sapling. Uh, put it in the water because that's what it sounded like she said to do. Now which door to go through? Right, let's... Okay, let's go through the north door just so I can keep track of what ones I've been through and what ones I haven't. Okay, she gave it the breath of life. So let's take the sapling from the water one and put it in this one. You do not manage to alter the plant and one of the other plant pots and element appears. You should leave via the open door to try again. Okay, so I screwed it up apparently. Leave via the open door. Okay, right. So I had the right idea the first time, but then I fucked it up. So it wasn't that door, is it? Oh. Is it this door? Oh, this door has the mushrooms, okay. So I gave it some of the energy I had gathered. I allowed it to regrow. Right, she had allowed it to regrow. So let's take the sapling from the mushroom one and let's put it in this one with the trees on it. And then go through the door with the trees on it. For life. The soul felt new growth and purpose, but it needed time to become strong. Okay, so it needed time to become strong. That pot with the cobwebs on it has obviously been there for a while, considering it has cobwebs on it. 
So we'll put it in the cobweb pot and we'll go through the cobweb door. Okay, looked like that worked. And there's the tree, it's grown. And laid a branch so that we can cross the ravine. Boom, I'm good at this puzzle stuff, man, I'm telling you. And then there was darkness. My story ended and another began. But that story is for another time. All that is left is to repeat the story. Come to me, my men. Gather to hear my story. This tale starts under the sea, in the home of my sisters. Okay, so she's not going to tell us the end. Looks like you have a very high frame rate at the moment, which means your GPU may be doing more work than your monitor could display. No, don't want VSync on at the moment, thank you very much. It's nice that it recognized it and offered, though. Oh, here's the raptor. I got here before him. I guess this is the end of the line. He's not as good with puzzles. No one can make that jump and survive. It would be foolish to even try. <laughs> Fucking raptor. Now I have to do it. I'm not going to let him beat me. Right, jump. Of course we've got to jump. Go! Splat. Game over. You're dead. Delete your account, start again. Wow, what the... Grot worms. Right, this is not nice. Okay, don't run through the acid. Note to self. Got it. Um, enter the opening. This is um very fleshy looking. Have we been like swallowed by something? I have plenty of food, I'm not overly concerned about the acid, I just don't want to fight anything. So I'm just going to run straight through it, it's doing not a lot of damage anyway. It's entered the opening over here. This is nasty looking, look at all this. Am I doing something wrong here, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I missing something? Am I just running from opening to opening, or is there actually an end? Okay, there is. Stop! You can't be here. This is our island. We need to get back on the ship. The siren. She doesn't like trespassing. You'll make her angry. We're not on an island. What are you talking about? Look around you. The waves lapping at the shore. The soft, soft sand. What you're talking about isn't real. How can I believe you, trespasser? Still, I will hear you. I will sing the waking song. Then we'll see you. Drop green ballast and rise to air. Shed its darkness for morning glare. Let the sun... Gods! Looks like she woke up! No! No, this can't be! <sighs> Infernal place is this! What has been done to me? Who is responsible for this horror? Are you okay? No, that's a stupid question. Don't you know how you got here? Wait. I remember. I was swimming in some cave. I found a soul that was so alone. Then... It... It... 
to me. Gods. I wake from a dream to return to a nightmare. No. It's better to see the world as it really is. Even if I am trapped in this thing. What about the souls you brought here? No. I... Oh no. My song. I, I thought I was just on my island. I had no idea. The old lady. The dragon. She must have been using me to lure them here. That's why she kept making me sing. Oh wow, so she's been tricked by a dragon to sing her siren song and lure souls to the dragon. That's deep, man. I know it's only a small means of reparation, but my waking soul has sent the other souls back to their bodies. That's pretty much what I came here for, so that's okay. If you can let me out, I might be able to repay the favor and help you escape. I trust her. Yeah. All right. No, an introduction won't help. My name is Remora. When I was eaten by the dragon, I wore a necklace of some power. It should be able to help us get out of this nightmare. Find you. I'm going to put an end to your witchcraft. Don't. I'm gonna have to fight you, aren't I? Because you're a fucking zealot. Wait, don't kill her. Killing her is the only way to stop this happening again. We need her to escape. That's right. If we can find my necklace, then I can teleport us out. All you have to do is get me out of here, and it's yours. <sighs> Fine. You get us out, and I let you live a bit longer. Well, at least he's intelligent. But Grab my crossbow from the floor. It should burst the cyst and release me. Be ready. I imagine that bursting it will not make the dragon happy. Oh, the thought of this. She's stuck in a cyst. Ugh. Let's pop the cyst in the belly of a dragon. Oh, the dragon puked us out. There's her necklace. Oh, fuck. Did she get us out? Is she okay? What happened, damn it? Are you okay? What about the siren? For the best, power like that can be too dangerous. Maybe. Anyway, we should talk to Lucille. Not me. You should go. Let her know what happened. Here, take this. It was the sirens. She won't tell you the story. Oh, I got the coral crossbow and 50 coral bolts. It is a pretty beastly looking flail he has over his back. Oh, and I got Remora's necklace as well. What does this do? A necklace with magical properties. It has a teleport option. I don't know where it teleports me to, but it does have a teleport option. So that's something. Now we need to go and talk to Lucille. I think she was in this house. This one here. I'm really upset that the siren um, seems to have died. 
I really felt bad for her. I cannot thank you enough. Wayland's a little groggy, but that's no different after a normal night's drinking. Thank you. Quiet, Wayland. The adventurer doesn't need to hear your drunken ramblings. Yeah, I don't need to hear your drunken ramblings. We're in your debt, and you can be sure that I won't let him drink ever again. One quest point, 700 hit point experience, a coral crossbow, 50 coral bolts, Remora's necklace and reduced incoming damage when fighting the Queen Black Dragon, which is our boss, I think. Unlock the song Wending Through the Willows. Uh, avenge the Siren's death by traveling to the White Knight encampment south of Falador. Two treasure hunter keys. Boom! Two constitution levels. Uh, level 16 constitution and combat level 13. I like that song that's playing in the back end. I really, really like that song. That that was a really good quest. The voice acting, uh, the singing in it. Deploy this to create an elite training dummy on which to train your magic skills. I'm going to cast this out because I don't know what exactly it's good for. Someone is going to leave a comment now and tell me that it's actually an incredible item to have. But Right, let's see where the teleport option on this goes. I like the effect. Um, oh, it brings me to the White Knight encampment and the raptors here. What now? Okay. Uh, who's this guy? Halt, adventure up. Go no further. Wormy peril lies within this cave. Wormy. Wormy indeed. The most unsightly, ghastly, and smelly worms you could imagine have suddenly risen from a hidden network of underground caves. But they are not. Okay. What can you tell me about the enemies inside? Worms, however, if you go further, further away, okay, so I'm going to guess well. this is a combat training cave I've unlocked. And I'm going to take a wild shot and say that the queen black dragon that was mentioned in the quest is uh, at the bottom of this cave. And that's where this boss is located. Which is pretty, pretty cool. So that was, uh, what was that quest called? Um, that was the, let's have a look at the quest log. That was a song from the depths. Absolutely brilliant quest. I really enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Again, um, I'm really enjoying being back in RuneScape and doing uh, this playthrough again. Recording the quest, playing around, leveling up. Um, and just going through the whole leveling up experience. I haven't done this in RuneScape in years. And I think maybe it's what's kind of kept me from getting back into it over the last couple of years. The fact that I was logging on to a high level character. That realistically I had no idea how to play. And things had changed so much. Whereas now I get to start from the start. And go through it all again the way it's intended. Really really enjoying it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more RuneScape content in the future. Leave a like and a comment. Let me know you enjoyed the video. Let me know to keep making more if you did enjoy it. Uh, and drop a comment and tell me what you thought of this quest. Because personally, I really, really enjoyed this one. And I will see you next time on Proceed to Checkpoints. Bye-bye.